when white people came to Africa, they came showing themselves as superior to the black people, digging out things that black people taught them. You know, what we don't have in our history books is that the civilization we have in Europe today was brought to us by black people. Even black people don't know that. Even many, many black people don't know that. They don't know that the Moors, they were West Africans and North Africans and Central Africans that came to Europe and ruled Spain. They brought civilization to us. They showed us how to use soap, how to be clean, how to, to behave like a decent human being, you know? All these things we didn't know that before the Moors brought civilization to Spain. Did you know that the Moors ruled in Spain for 700 years? Where is that in our history books? It's nowhere to be found. Because why? If you are giving black people that power of having ones ruled over white people, wouldn't black people start like kind of questioning, oh, we were once at that point of having such a power in a white man's country over white people. And where are we now? So of course they have to hide that history from you people because knowing your true history is knowing your true power. And knowing your true power means you will break out from that system of racism as much as you can because you can't if white people will not stop racism black people cannot stop being victims of racism that do okay that sounds like i'm victimizing a black person which i don't the fact is okay i've said that before i've used that example before but i think it's just the perfect it sums everything up okay when you see a child that was sexually mol molested or it mustn't even be a sexual molestation if it was molested would you walk up to that child and tell the child to stop whining about their molestation, uh, stop stop crying about what happened to them and move on because after all it was five years ago, uh, your molester, is he not in prison? Can't you stop pulling the molester card and blah, blah, blah. Nobody would do that. No person that has senses would tell a child that was abused or molested to move on or to even go out and fight against what happened to them. No, you will not do that. What you will do is you expect authorities to step up from that child and get justice on that child's behavior. But when it comes to racism, we be all in our feelings like, oh, but I'm not racist. I never owned slaves. I'm blah, 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 blah. My neighbor's cousin is black. I can't be racist. But it is not like that. I've seen white women raising black children, having black husbands, you know, and they are still racist. So you mingling with all the black people in the world is not going to make you less racist. That is just the point. That's because in, a, in the society, we were not raised to understand what racism really means. We were only raised to define racist, non-racist, based on the fact, are you against foreigners or are you not against foreigners? And that is not even, that is just like the tip of the iceberg. That's so 